in the next question this is 159 you have been given two wires of identical dimensions they have been connected in series so as you know that in series their resistance will be following this equation r is equal to r1 plus r2 and uh, if you talk about uh, resistance you have to write rho l by a so here you can write as l by sigma 1a because their dimensions have been given to be equal only difference is that in conductivity so here it will be l upon sigma 2a and here the total length will be 2l effective conductivity they want understand effective conductivity so sigma will be simply you can say 2 sigma 1 sigma 2 upon sigma 1 plus sigma 2 so the effective conductivity will be marked as answer 2 for this question 159 switch over to next question 160 Now in this uh, question which is based on dual nature, you have to make use of two equations, one of photoelectric effect and that of de Broglie hypothesis. It says that light of wavelength 500 nanometer. Now see 500 nanometer has a standard energy value approximately 2.46 electron volt because you have 1.23 electron volt equivalent to 10,000 angstrom. So this is 5,000 angstrom approximately 500 nanometer. So this you can say energy 2.46 electron volt light photons they are incident on a metal of work function 2.28 electron volt. So you can calculate the maximum kinetic energy with which the electrons will be coming out. You want the de Broglie wavelength of the emitted electron. So first I am using the expression that energy incident this is equal to phi plus Ke max. So this will give you the value of maximum kinetic energy. As I said kinetic energy maximum I will be taking as 2.46 minus this uh, 2.28. So approximately you can say 0 0.18 electron volt, you understand? This is the kinetic energy and this is the maximum kinetic energy. So other electrons will be having lesser speed. Now de Broglie hypothesis says that H by mv, so under root 2 mk. So approximately you will find that this uh, lambda value is coming out to be 2.8 into 10 power minus 9 meter. So any value more than that, that will also be permitted because if the velocity becomes less, then lambda will be more. So you will be marking answer fourth one greater than or equal to 2.8 into 10 power minus 9 meter. That is the answer to question 160. Switch over to next question 161. Now this question 161, this is related to speed of sound in a gas. You have the standard formula speed of sound in a gas is V. This is equal to under root gamma T by M and now see this uh, gamma is basically Cp by Cv, you understand? Here in this question you are supposed to calculate this value of Cp. So using this equation you have to first calculate the value of gamma and then if you substitute into this equation then you will be getting the value of Cp. If you look at the question they are saying that 4 gram of a gas occupies 22.4 liter. So this is basically the molecular weight of the gas but you have to take in kilogram. So at this expression you have to write 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 kg, you understand? And then they are saying that uh, R value, R value has been given to you standard 8.3 joule per Kelvin per mole, you can substitute here and temperature NTP you can take 273, gamma value will be calculated because the value of uh, speed 952 meter per second that has been given to you. If you calculate gamma that will be coming approximately 1.6. And then once you multiply it by Cv value, specific heat at constant value, 1.6 multiplied by 5 that will be 8. So the value of uh, specific heat at constant pressure for this particular question which you will be getting that will be 8 joule per Kelvin per mole. This is the second option, correct one. Switch over to next question 162. 